Hello folks and welcome. I'm X23.3 XFCE Desktop filming in 1080. Today's uh, video is going to be about auto logins and passwords. I have had several requests uh, over the past several months regarding uh, the same subject, auto logins and passwords. And uh, anyways, I am just getting around to doing some of this kind of stuff. Um, due to uh, family health issues. But uh, more importantly, I'm gonna talk about MX23 today for auto login and passwords. Passwords as short as one character. I wouldn't recommend that though, but I will show you how to do that. You can do that out of terminal or graphically. 1080 is what I'm filming in. Opening up settings. The name of this cursor is called Xeon Blue if you're curious. All right, I'm going to open up tools and uh, we're gonna go to boot options first. Is this where auto logins are? No, but uh, it will display Mark's password field, how many digits it takes to get in here, which is currently five. Five characters is what it's in his password. However, what MX boot options does have for you though, is a menu timeout, usually 10 seconds, or you can reduce that. Also, if you are using dual boots and your system finds those kind of things, you can choose different boot options. But auto logins is not one of them. That can be found in user manager along with changing passwords. Now, I'm going to first just demo the option in terminal to change a user's password. All right, let me make this larger for you. Mark is our made up name user. You can see it lit up in purple or whatever color that is. It's a sudo super user do space pass WD password pass WD space and then the username. So Mark in this case. So five stars just appeared because that's Mark's current password and no, I'm not going to display that. And it doesn't display that anyways. So when I hit enter though, you're not going to be able to see this. That's just standard behavior for this. Is I'm going to put in a single character and hit enter and do the same. And then I'm going to hit exit. Type in exit. Then I'm going to open up settings just to verify that this has been changed to a single character password by opening up boot options again and typing in a single letter. Single character and authenticate. Now you can see that it opened. Let's do that in user manager, but let's not use something silly like that. So my suggestion to you is to use more than four digits for passwords, especially if your computer leaves your home, such as a laptop. So I'm going to punch in a five digit password this time for Mark. So that's a little bit more than one character in other words. However, it will accept one character as an FYI. I heavily do not recommend that. I'm just showing you you can. Now since I changed that earlier in terminal, I still have to put that single character in here for me to change that back to the five characters. And it's done successfully. So you can use terminal or the graphical. Now let's talk about auto logins. It's done in here under options. We are going to grab a hold of Mark. He's our user for today and do the login automatically and hit apply. This works great for Mark. He doesn't have to put in his password when he shuts down the computer or does a restart. I've shown these on previous videos. These are instantaneous power off and restart. They are not part of your system. I create these usually in 10 seconds. Different video. All right, so is this smart for Mark to do this with? Well, let me, let me make you think about something. Mark has a laptop. Mark sometimes takes that laptop out of his home. He takes it to the coffee shop, he puts it in his car, whatever else. What would happen if Mark lost the laptop or got it stolen? Well, whoever got a hold of that laptop can just open the lid, turn it on, and grab a hold of all of Mark's bookmarks. Maybe some banking information is attached to those bookmarks and also his files. Maybe not the best option if Mark takes his laptop for a ride. 
maybe a better option would be to require passwords. Another thing about this particular computer, it has more than Mark as a user. We have Bob and Joe sitting there. So would this scenario work in this case where when Bob wants to use his desktop, what would happen when Mark shuts down the computer and then Bob turns on the computer? Well, it's still going to auto log itself into Mark. You would have to log Mark out to be able to log Bob or Joe in. So in this scenario, this would not be the best option. I would require password logins because we have three users, Mark, Bob, and Joe. So that way you have a login screen instead of auto logging. All right, so I gave you the password. It's one or more characters for the users and you can pick them out of this menu. And then the auto login is done through here. Again, it would work fine if Mark was the only person using this computer. And I would also recommend, uh, not recommend that if you are traveling with this computer, such as a laptop. You can always change this, but do most of us remember this? Not really. Require passwords is pretty simple. And again, if you are traveling with these type of computers, do not make it really easy for the person who takes your laptop if, if that happens with a single digit password. Make it a little bit difficult for them in case you lose your laptop, if that's the scenario. So pick your user, one or more characters, type it in, confirm. You can click the eyeball on and hit apply. All right, this is all found in user manager in MX tools. And also your boot options too, if you're looking for any of that bonus information there. Okay, thank you for watching.